everyone. My name is David. I'm with Zentech Consultants. And we're going to be talking all about the count tool within Bluebeam Review today. For those of you who have not heard about Zentech Consultants, we primarily work within the architectural engineering and construction uh, space. And we help our clients purchase and implement uh, all of the software they need to grow in this complex industry. Uh, we are Microsoft partners, Bluebeam sales partners, uh, Procore certified consultants, uh, Autodesk providers, and so much more. Uh, we provide a single point of contact uh, for our clients to buy, develop, and learn uh, all the most vital software systems for both design and construction. Zentech strives to be your trusted technology partner uh, all the way from initial needs uh, through long-term support and training for your staff. What are we going to be covering today? Well, we're going to be talking about the count tool and, and kind of how to access it, you know, uh, how to use it, getting some running totals from that count tool, along with using the, the search function in Bluebeam uh, to uh, help us automatically count symbols. Lastly, we're going to be talking about, you know, swapping out uh, basic symbols with something more custom um, on markups and counts that you've already created. So let's open up our Bluebeam review together and let's get started. Now that we're in Bluebeam review, uh, to start off, I do want to let you guys know I am using one of our uh, Zentech review tools profiles. However, that is based on the review advanced profile. Uh, if you guys do want to follow along with me, if I say, hey, you know, this this symbol is is in the top, it should be on the top on your screen as well. So uh, what we most often see, um, a lot of estimators, despite being to uh, 2024, um, for those of you who still print out their drawings, you know, they count it the old fashioned way using a highlighter or pen. Um, however, as we get more and more into the digital age, more and more estimators, uh, architects, everyone else, uh, you know, who's listening to this video really, um, is starting to get more PDFs of our drawing files, right? And we start utilizing different takeoff softwares like Bluebeam and people are new to it and they just want to use something they are familiar with. So most often of, uh, most often we see people just using the pen tool and they'll just be, you know, crossing something off, you know, one door, two door, if I can find another door here quickly, three doors, just something like that or they'll utilize the highlight tool. Um, there is certainly nothing wrong with that, but you're wasting a lot of your time doing that because Bluebeam, again, has a built-in count tool uh, to help you with that. And we can access this count tool in one of three areas. Uh, first is at the top of our screen. This is the one I would recommend you uh, kind of get used to. See my mouse cursor on it right here. The next is on the right-hand panel underneath the measurements section. And, you know, if you want to either enlarge this um, or if you click on a little arrow right here, you will see uh, the count tool. The third, which is probably one of the slowest methods, is if you go to your tools, uh, measure, and it's count right here. There's also a, a hotkey for it, which is Shift Alt C, should you want to get familiar with hotkeys. Now, the count tool, what is it? Well, simply put, it's just tallying stuff. We'll do the same thing. Instead of clicking, you know, drawing using the pen tool, we'll just click on these three doors. We'll just do a simple check mark. And now we have each of these three selected. And I could go to my markups list down at the bottom of my screen right here. And you can see the difference between what I have. 
So now I have pen, and I have three different pen items here that I marked up earlier. And it does give me the count of three. Uh, but my measurement, my count measurement right here, is just a three count. Now, this doesn't help us uh, a lot because it just says count measurement. You have doors, you have outlets, uh, and you know a million other different things to count on your plan. So with this, we can actually go into the properties section over here. And again, uh, this is a best practice here for you guys. Always give any of your takeoffs a subject and a label. So we'll just call this doors. And I'll just do door type A for a label here. Okay, and I'm just going to delete my three pen icons here. Just we don't need that anymore. That's the old way. Um, and not a recommended uh, method to do your counts. We have our three different doors here that are all checked and we do have some basic you know uh, level of customization we have different shapes just basic shapes oh well, we could change our color again it's everything that you guys are familiar with uh, within the properties panel and again we can start a new count tool I'm gonna click at the top in this one, I'll just do, you know, office furniture. And my label will just be chairs. And let's just change this to a blue triangle. And again, I'll just count these four chairs here. And there we go. Down at the bottom, you can see again, I have my doors, door type A, three count, and office furniture, chairs, a floor count. One thing that we can also do with our count tools is when you need to adjust um, a count, uh, either add more or delete more, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, if you right click on any of these, the one you want selected, we right click on our doors and we have resume count. And this will allow us to continuously count some doors here. Again, I'll just continuously put these counts in here. And now I have an eight count of doors. However, you might want to separate out or they change out, you know, doors instead of door type A for some of these doors, it might need to be door type B. And that's where the split function comes in. So for any of the count objects you want to split, you'd want to make sure those are selected. And we can easily split these out. Split count. And you can see the two that I selected right here are now their own count down here. We have a six count and a two count. Which gives us still a total of, you know, eight right at the top as a, a kind of summary. But this might need to be door type B. we might just want to change this color right maybe we want to change it just to, to blue to look a little bit different and you can split any of your count tools again i wanted to resume count on this chair and maybe you know these cubicles over here they get some type of custom amount of chair Easily just split those. Change our properties. Maybe just change these to, to green. 
It is. This is a tall chair. Okay. Now that is and going back and forth to this count tool uh, and renaming your subjects and label every single time. That is very, very tedious. Um, to say the least. All right, you got to rename, uh, rename everything, change your properties, you know, to have a, you know, your own unique symbol. And that's where the concept of tool chests actually come into place. And tool chests are already within Bluebeam. Uh, this is, again, I, I mentioned at the start of this, our custom uh, Zen type review tools interiors set here that we sell on our website. We also have another video on it as well on our YouTube channel if you guys want to take a look on uh, the specifics inside of that. And here you can see that each of these um, is a count tool, right? We just have some residential doors here. And you can see in the, the bottom right corner of this symbol, it's the same symbol as our count tool. So we can denote that this is a count tool. We also have a linear footage tool. You can do a lot with tool chests, right? And this is more about getting, um, or if you know, you're doing the same count of the same type of objects day in and day out, you can create tools for those. So again, if you are doing a lot of residential doors, we just put a couple doors counts in here, just count up these doors. And this is going to be predefined. It'll have your subject, it'll have your label. Again, this particular tool, uh, we just have as door type question mark. So that way you can easily change it out. Um, within your tool chest. And again, once you get your count tool kind of customized how you fit, you can just simply add it to your tool chest and it's there for you. Okay. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is how to save a lot of time on your takeoffs as counting can be very time consuming. This is where the concept of using our search tool to actually search for a visual to count that item. So if I wanted to count all of these, we'll just say these computers right here. We'll just get what the symbol looks like. And we have uh, different settings that you guys can change. Um, click on search, let's see, let's see hopefully it comes up with all of them. We got 23 results here. So it looks like it got most of them. I don't, I don't remember how many are particularly on this drawing. And we could select all of these. And with this little lightning bolt right here, uh, we could actually apply a count. Apply count measurement to Chet. And here we have our computer. So now I just put a count on each of these computers. And one thing to know is that visual search, it does a great job. However, you'll notice, and here's a great example right over here, is sometimes it doesn't do them all, right? It is a computer application. It's, it's reading the best of your drawings to the best of its capability. Um, and it will miss some. I just want to let everyone be aware of that, that that is a large limitation of this. And if that's the case, again, we could just simply resume our count and add these three in there. And that's fixed, right? Now, it may do 90, 95% of your counts for you. But again, you always want to go back and double check. Now, with any of these count tools as well, we can also change these symbols. 
again, this is within the properties section. And as you guys see, I have custom door symbols here. It's not a check mark, not a, a square or, or a triangle or anything. And again, if I select uh, these doors right here, I think this is my six count of doors. I could, you know, scroll down till I find my doors on my tool chest. So this may be, you know, these may be actually just storefront doors just because I see some glass right there. All right, we got this glass. Maybe these two over here, my double doors. We'll just change these to commercial doors. Now that's only going to change the symbol. Please be aware of that. You may have to change some other properties uh, should you need to, uh, such as scale or sizing. But that's all I have to show you guys today. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Feel free to leave a comment. We do respond to many questions down in the bottom. Uh, or again, you can visit us on our website at zentechconsultants.net. Uh, you can give us a call. Um, again, we do a lot of different types of services. We actually uh, do create these symbols and count objects uh, for numerous companies. Uh, so if you don't have either the time um, which is usually the, the biggest reason we help companies. Uh, we can certainly get on a call together and talk about all the different types of count objects and more, you know, other different types of symbology that you use in your estimates and kind of go from there. Again, thanks for joining me today. Feel free to like and subscribe.